hello hello everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is Kat and this is Kat Budgets um, today I am going to be do doing my cash stuffing of my sinking funds I will be cash stuffing my envelopes and the envelopes that I will be cash stuffing are going to be my sinking funds that I have currently ongoing so if that is something that you are interested in seeing then stay tuned let's go ahead and get started all right before I get started let's go ahead and count the cash that way you guys know how much I have. So uh, the first that I have is a $100 bill. So we're gonna do 100 plus 20, 40. Let's have a little ASMR moment as Judy with Dinero would speak Dinero would say. So $202 is what we will be cash stuffing. Let's put this away for now. All right, and um, this is my seven by nine Aaron Condren monthly planner. And then we are going to be flipping to the month of March. And we're gonna be flipping to my thinking funds tracker here. And this is um, my tracker. All these kits for the month of March are from Marina Rosa. She is linked down below. This is a Filofax personal planner a6 planner i believe and i got this about three years ago so it's a little old but it's still in great condition and this this thing has moved with me so many times <laughs> and it's still very much well intact um but yeah i have this one and then my cash envelopes are also from romina rosa um with the exception of this one this one is from someone else but she's no longer has a has a shop all right so we're going to be cash stuffing my envelope, my sinking funds, these envelopes. So the first one I'm gonna be stuffing is my Christmas fund. So I have the numbers here, but you can actually also see the names here. It's very light, but yes, I got labels for them. So this is gonna, I'm gonna be stuffing Christmas and Christmas is getting $100. So if we count it, that's 100, 200, 300. And my goal for this one is 1100 by November. So that's $300. And look how the back looks. looks so cute. The next one is tax prep, but I just did my taxes last month. And I think for now, I'm not going to be cash stuffing it. I think later in the year, I will plan. I am planning on doing so. Um, okay, the next one is going to be excise tax. And this one is going to be getting $30. And this bill is actually due this month, so I'm gonna have to deposit this right back. So 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90. That's how much is in here for excise tax for my car. That's due on the 24th. So these, this is gonna go right back to the bank so I can go ahead and submit that payment because that's what the sinking funds are for and I love it. Okay, the next one is gonna be my gym annual fee and this one is getting $10. This is actually due April 1st, if I'm not mistaken, but go ahead and count what's in here. So 10, 20, 30. The goal is to have 40 by next month. Okay. That is that. And the next one is going to be my registration, my car registration, since it is due up, up due for renewal in June. And my car registration is going to be getting $12. I can make sure you guys can see that. Twelve dollars. So now I should have thirty-six dollars in here. So ten, twenty, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thirty-six dollars. Okay, that's that. And then now it's gonna be my parking permit. This is due, I believe, in did I say June as well? Is it June or May? I don't remember, but I will be stuffing seven dollars for this one oh, before I do that. Let's take this out and then add five, six, seven, and that's gonna be five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. I've been stuffing this one for three months now. I think the goal is um, 
forty dollars for this one all right next is going to be my disney plus annual and i'm going to be stuffing let's see i'm going to be stuffing here to four dollars so one two three four so let's count this make sure we have twelve dollars in here now so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve but i'm actually going to do a condensing because this envelope is going to get too big so let's go ahead and take out the two dollar bills these here and i'm going to exchange it for a 10 because i'm actually going to have some left over so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and let's put this here and i'm going to exchange this for the 10 and i'll explain why in a second all right so that's my disney plus annual and then next is going to be my amex annual and this one i've been stuffing seven dollars for the last couple of months um no excuse me eight dollars but i am actually going to be upping the amount and the reason is because 95 dollars for my blue cash rewards card is due in december and i will have 95 dollars um, because I've been dividing that since the beginning of the year so I'll have the $95 but now I'm also going to be starting a sinking fund or adding to this same sinking fund the $20 and some change so I'm rounding up it's gonna be $21 a month for my Amex gold card so the Amex gold card is 250 for the year and that's obviously $20 and some change over 12 months so in total now i'm going to be stuffing 29 dollars going forward to make sure that i have enough for the blue cash reward um, annual fee in december and my amex gold um, annual fee in february so this one is going to be getting 29 dollars two three four okay so let me just arrange this all right and in here I should now have forty five dollars so twenty twenty five thirty thirty five thirty six thirty seven thirty eight thirty nine forty forty one forty two forty three forty four forty five okay so this is gonna be forty five and this is going in the Amex annual Dokes. Let's add this in here and I'll probably do another like condensing for this one soon all right so my boyfriend and I are going on a cruise vacation in August and um, since we go on cruises this is our second cruise together I'm really excited and I'm looking forward to that but oops, excuse me but because we are going and um, when you get off the cruise ship and you um, go into the islands or where you're the what is it called the um, where you what is it called i'm losing the word wherever you guys dock at um a lot of the places they require cash so him and i learned that very quickly last year so we want to take cash so we have cash available to us to tip um the workers and such so it's always good to have cash so let me just count i should have ten dollars here because i just swapped it out but let's just double check one two three four five six seven eight nine ten perfect so i'll either use this for the tipping or most likely for the tipping but um i also want to start saving money for the daily fee that they charge you on the cruise ship but okay that is it for today all of my sinking funds are stuffed except the tax prep for now um and i'm excited honestly this system is really working very well for me and i love it i'm so excited and i can't wait to keep stuffing it i actually have a little let me show you guys i got this um binder off of amazon and i bought more cash envelopes from romina when she was having a sale so i was able to bulk up on these and i was planning on using these to get a month ahead um, but a couple of these i put inside the sinking funds folder but um, I want to use this to get a month ahead. I'm not sure when I'm gonna start this, but this is gonna be my month ahead savings challenge binder. And this is actually from Easy Budgets. 
E Z, the letter E, the letter Z budgets on Instagram. It's a little tracker that I'm going to be using, but this is going to be my month ahead savings challenge binder. So obviously you guys can see here, there's a theme with rose gold. I love rose gold, as you guys might be able to tell. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys that I got this. How cute it is. How cute is it? I love it. I can't wait to start it. I'm just not sure when, but hopefully soon. We'll see. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and like the video. Um, please leave any comments and um, subscribe to my channel. I'm really trying to hit the one third of the way mark to a thousand subscribers. So I would really appreciate it if you would stick around and join the Cat Budgets fam. And also make sure to forget, don't forget, don't make sure to forget. <laughs> make sure to not forget to follow me over on Instagram. My Instagram is at Cat Budgets and that's C-A-T Budgets. Um, my TikTok is also Cat Budgets. So I would appreciate it if you guys would head over and um, follow me on Instagram. My, my, my Instagram fam is growing quickly and I hope that my YouTube channel grows quickly as well. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys.